Good day everyone. So today we're going to replace, this is called a canister purge valve. The easiest way to know if this is working or not, well you might have a, an error code if you're using a, a reader, but basically if this has failed completely, if you, uh, you know, stick your mouth on that end and blow through it, if the air flows through it, yeah, there's, it's, it's, you know, it's no good. Got to get rid of it. Um, but if you blow in here and it's, and you can't push any air out, um, that means it's still good. So mine has failed. Uh, I can blow in there, air just comes out. So I found the replacement. This is the, I guess that would be the part for this one. Now don't get this confused with the uh, crankcase ventilation, uh, which oddly enough on this car, on this Ecotec 2.2 in the Saturns anyway, does not have that uh, ventilation thing so this is all we have it's really easy you only really need a half inch wrench and you're good to go and it's actually it's good I have it off so I can show you how to put it back on okay so first of all we're gonna have to get this off of this bracket you have to undo this um, bolt or, or not I should say <clears throat> at some point you can remove the electrical and and uh, this pipe that comes in I had trouble reaching this one, so I undid the bracket and I could move it a little bit, gain access. And how these things work, I'll try to pull this up here so you can see. So basically, on the other side, well, too bad that's on the other side, but there's a little clip. Maybe, I don't want to bend this too much, but um, can you see? There's a little thing here, a little tab for your finger, and you just have to open that up. And the other side is exactly the same. Um, the electrical connection is self-explanatory once I get to that. We have to get this bracket off. And how to do that, there's just a little thing here. Use a screwdriver, lift up on it, and there, it will pull apart. So that's our old one. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and get some pliers or something. It's just, I don't think it really matter, matters. It's not gonna come out of there, but I'm gonna push this thing back down. Unless it's bent up. Oh, it's bent up. Okay, so if you bend it up to remove it, bend it back down, get the little bit of an angle in there again. That's all it was. And, okay. It should snap in now. Yep. It's in good. All right, so I'm gonna take this cap off here. And probably won't be able to see that well, but they just push on. So this has to maneuver under here. And where is my old, or the other line? Here it is. Okay, I had to reposition the camera. So anyways, uh, we have the bracket on here on the new one, fitting down nice. So now we can go ahead, maneuver this into place. Just come under. And then bring it all the way up. So there's a lower hole on this bracket. That's what needs to go on. I'm just gonna start this nut. It's a half inch. So it's just sitting there now. So now I'm gonna push on the, uh, the rear line. And you just have to make sure to push it on really good. You should hear it click on and give it a little pull after, make sure that it is on. There we go. Hopefully, maybe you could hear that click. But anyways, I know it's on really, go, really well. And That guy's supposed to be there. Now this guy, just push it on. Nice positive click. And the electrical, this guy here, it's just gonna slide on into the, there. And it clicked on, so all is good. Now it's just a matter of 
tightening this up. And while I'm tightening this up, I can tell you about some symptoms. Basically, this happens often when I go to uh, put gas in the car. So I fill it up with gas and I go to start it and it won't start. Uh, I basically have to put the pedal to the floor, start turning it over and then it starts. Uh, that's one of the symptoms. I guess rough idling is another one. And of course, maybe your check engine light might come on also. You'll have to check into the codes for that, which might indicate a uh, faulty, like it's a solenoid or a faulty connection to the solenoid. Um, so those are the main things. So I was getting tired of this thing every time I went to get gas. It, I don't know whatever it does, but uh, the car would not start. I found that very odd, but not really, but you know. And this goes back in there. Um, this little thing, I don't even know what that is, but it should be upright, some sort of little valve or something. So that's all there is to it, uh, folks. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Uh, I do have the super thanks now if this was helpful. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. This is a four cylinder 2004 Saturn View. How to replace. The PCV valve, the positive crankshaft ventilation valve. You go to your auto zone, you pick up this part right here for three dollars. AutoZone sold me this part for this engine. And I'm gonna show you the easiest way to replace it. You bring it straight to the fucking garbage can because your vehicle doesn't have one. That's right. This car is not equipped with a PCV valve. It doesn't have one.